Hi, I'm Brandon Reyes with True Ball Release and Excel Sites, and we're with Chef Vandenberg today from the Netherlands. And we'd like to first welcome you to the factory Thank and you. hope you enjoyed your time here checking stuff out. Uh, we've been glad to have you and uh, show you, you know, the ins and outs of some of our products and uh, products that you use. So, uh, like, uh, like I said, we're glad to have you and, uh, and glad you could make it for a special trip here to the factory. So with that, I was just going to spend some time with uh, Chef and have a little question and answering about, uh, you know, some things that are coming up in the near future, uh, as well as some in-depth in technical uh, information about the Achieve Target site, which he uses uh, on his recurve. So, uh, Chef, it's an Olympic year. Everybody's excited, uh, 2016. Uh, Rio Olympics and kind of give us a, uh, a quick uh, run through of how you've been preparing should you make the team this year. Yeah, uh, so I'm equally excited as uh, all the rest of the world. Um, mostly what I've been doing is shooting 70 meters, so I haven't done all that much indoors. I've just been shooting 70 meters. I've been trying uh, as hard as I can to uh, stay shooting outdoor even though it's uh, a bit colder in winter. But at the Olympic Training Center, we have windows that we shoot through, and the um, room that we're in is heated. So, uh, and I did some technique changes. So I made some some minor changes in my in my form that made it uh, better, I think, and uh, more consistent. So that way, I'm uh, hoping to be as good as I can at the Olympics. Sure. And uh, you were part of the test event that took place, uh, you know, back in the summer in Rio as well. Tell us how that came out. Um, I went to the test event together with my teammates to uh, get a feel about the venue and uh, the country itself. Um, I did pretty well, I think. I, uh, I ended up second in the test event itself uh, and we had a, a bronze medal with the team. So uh, I got, got to shoot all of the matches there mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's great because I know what the venue is like and uh, what like I, I got to practice a lot sure. uh, for in the actual Olympics. Prior to Vegas, uh, I had heard uh, a couple or seen a couple of Facebook posts, maybe where you were in uh, the, another country. Um, I'm not sure; I can't remember exactly where it was. But did you do some training uh, outside of the Netherlands? Yeah, uh, we, this winter uh, we've been to South Africa and uh, to Germany at the Bido Center mm -hmm. to uh, train indoor 70 meters. And in South Africa, we went there to. Um, get used to the, the temperature and uh, shooting at maybe a little higher altitude. Okay. So um, I think that's uh, educational for us because we are from the Netherlands and like a, uh, a warm summer is only 30 degrees Celsius where it's 40 degrees Celsius in South Africa. Sure. Which uh, made a difference and uh, in Rio it can be hot as well. Right. So I hope uh, that gives us a little advantage over uh, the rest. Right. Well, that's a you know that's a great point because I remember last year we were fortunate enough to go to the Olympic Games in London, and I'm good friends with Brady Ellison, and he was telling us how they were, you know, they had made trips over prior to the actual Olympic Games, in an effort to build a practice facility here in the states as close as they could to what they were going to be performing in. Yeah. So, uh, anytime you can do things that are going to replicate as close as possible to the actual venue I, I can see as being a big benefit. Yeah, we try to do that at the Olympic Training Center, but you can't control the weather right. yet, I hope. Yep. Um, but uh, that's why we went to South Africa, to get a feel about shooting in hot weather again and okay. uh, make sure we can stay and uh, shoot 70 meters in winter. Right. Well, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about that you've been doing personally uh, to prepare for the upcoming Olympics Games? I try to have a lot of fun. That's uh, that's like the priority number one, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I do a lot of uh, physical training and mental training aside from archery, um, uh, which makes me have uh, I think uh, just a little edge over the, the rest of the competition um, that doesn't do that. So I think uh, more and more countries do physical training and mental training, and uh, I think it's working out well for me and, and for the rest of the team as well. I know we're excited to uh, you know see how the Olympics play out this year. Um, so uh, we hope for you know hope we're hopeful for you and we hope you get, uh, get a chance to make it. Um, you know, with that being said, we're going to kind of lean into uh, the product that Chef uses on his recurve, and uh, you shoot a Hoyt, correct? I do. Yeah. Uh, and with that, he uses our uh, Achieve Target Sight, and we've spent a lot of time this week uh, 
chef has went through the manufacturing facility, the assembly facility. Uh, yesterday, uh, chef and I built an actual site that uh, you see here that he's gonna uh, gonna use. And it functions and as well. <laughs> it functions great because he made it. But uh, anyway, you know, with that, uh, I just wanted to kind of cover a few things most people and yourself, you know, know already. Um, you know, the actual adjustment tension system in the Achieve. Uh, I also wanted to go over the carbon bar. But uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, whether they know or not, this is a perfect time to, to cover, you know, the way the adjustment t uh, tension system works. Um, you'll find it on the bottom part of the site here. And uh, in most sites, depending on if you have a CX or a CXL, uh, the CXL signifies that you have a lever here. And the lever gives you the ability to lock your elevation out to where it won't move should you shoot a single distance tournament. Where the, uh, the version that's just a CX has essentially the same type of system just with a little uh, cavity that uh, doesn't allow you to lock the, uh, the tension out as easily. So with use, uh, you know, over time stuff wears, uh, mm -hmm. and the nice thing about the, uh, the Achieve site here is that you have the ability, once your site wears, you know, a year, two years, three years down the line, by taking this adjust adjustment tension system off and moving it to another cam position to tighten it up. Yeah. And what that does is essentially takes any play you could see or find in this head and removes it. Uh, so that's something I just wanted to cover. Uh, it's real simple. There's a, uh, there's a socket head uh, cap screw here that you take out. And when doing so, you just lift the pieces off and you can see the cam uh, system below that um, to adjust the tension. You can adjust the feel as this slides up and down, depending on you know, what kind of feel you want. Um, you know, some people like it to move you know, a little more freer than others. Uh, but that's all adjustable in this site, and I want to make sure people understand that and, uh, and know that all that adjustment is in their site that they, you know, whether they purchase it, uh, you know, or get it to use, uh, they need to be familiar enough to know that, uh, you know, that is there. Yeah, and it's not only per personal preference, but it's also to make the site have less uh, play in it, right? Right, yep, yep, you can, you know, remove the play, you know, should year or two down the road, uh, you uh, you know, feel a little movement in your scope housing or your, your sight aperture, uh, you can tighten it right up with that CAN system. So yeah. uh, with that, uh, you know, as far as um, other new features on the site this year, uh, the only other thing we've changed is the basic look of the carbon bar uh, and a little bit of functionality. You'll notice that we have moved the stickers on both sides to the middle of the carbon bar and this thus gives a little more strength and in doing so it also allowed us to uh, create more wind passage tunnels here uh, at the front of the site and the back of the site to where you get less wind pull wind drag so and you tested all of this right yeah and all of this is tested so you know you can you can see that you know for instance, winds like uh, uh, you guys had in Turkey, I believe yeah, it was. Yeah, 2013, years ago. yeah. Yeah. The World Championships. And yep. Like... It was ridiculously bad. Yes. And uh, I mean, hitting the target was accomplishment. Uh, so, you know, anything we can do to help, you know, reduce any type of drag or, uh, or pull by the actual wind, uh, you know, is a big thing, especially in recurve shooting yeah. when you're shooting 70 meters plus. So not only did we get the actual look that we wanted, we got uh, you know increased durability uh, and uh, also uh, you know less wind drag. So yeah. uh, that's all on both the six inch and the nine inch carbon bars. Uh, you'll find that. That's awesome. So you know with that, as far as uh, you know the functionality of the site, everything has remained the same since we you know initially come out with the site. Aesthetically, we've made a few improvements to make it look better. And, uh, you know, people really, you know, based off of sales, they really like the product and, uh, and continue to purchase it. So, you know, we continue to build them as fast as we can and get them to the customers. But, uh, you know, it's something that we continually work on. So, yeah. you know, it's who knows what, uh, you know, 2017 will bring. And I'm but, happy uh, to say that they built them faster than I do because uh, <laughs> I took about I think five days to build one. 
Yeah, we, uh, you know, they're building them right now and, you know, we can, on average, depending on, you know, making sure we have all the parts we need, we could probably build a hundred, a hundred a day pretty easily. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, if, if we had that, uh, the number of orders to match the number that we can make every day, we'd be extremely busy. So, yeah. um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful product and, you know, we continue to build off of it. So, like I said, you never know what 2017 will bring, but, uh, you know, we've got a, a great foundation here. So. Oh,